been provided to the Coast Star, the official newspaper of the Borough of Belmar, and the Asbury Park Press on September 28, 2016, and notice that this meeting was posted on the bulletin board of the school building. Uh, do we all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Could we uh, remain standing for our troops, a moment of silence for our troops and their families, and for a safe and happy new year? Okay, thank you. Colleen, did anything come up for a workshop discussion? Nothing's teed up unless there's something you would like to discuss. Tom? No good. All right. Uh, petitions. Anybody out in the audience with a petition that you want to bring up to the uh, council? Seeing none, we'll move right along to the approval of minutes. I move that the minutes of the meeting held on December the 6th, 2016, be approved as recorded and that a copy thereof be posted on the borough's website. A second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, uh, moving right along. Reports of <coughs> council. Janice, we're going to do. Winter walking has started uh, every Tuesday and Thursday in the gym from 1 until 2. Uh, yesterday I was down there, there were at least 7 or 8 uh, people who were taking advantage of our wonderful gym. So every Tuesday and Thursday, if you can't get out on the boardwalk to do some walking, come on in and um, enjoy traipsing around our, our gym. The senior Christmas luncheon was held a couple of weeks ago. Everybody had a wonderful time. We want to thank the staff for all of the gifts that were given out. We want to thank St. Rose children who came over and entertained everybody. That was until Santa Claus arrived. And we especially want to thank Jimmy's Pizza, Randall's, and the Mascudo uh, Market, which is Benny's, for providing all of the delicious food. Then uh, a couple of days after that was the first aid brunch for seniors, and it was wonderful also, so thank you to our first aiders. On a personal note, my next door neighbor has been having health issues. He called our first aiders out in the middle of the night on Sunday night, about midnight. They came, uh, he refused to go to the hospital, and at 7.30 in the morning, uh, they were there again, where he did go to the hospital. While they were there, they thought they smelled gasoline, so our first our um, fire company came out to check for a gas leak. We have the very best people working in this town as volunteers on our first aid squad and our fire department. So I, on a personal note, want to say thank you very, very much for taking such good care of my next door neighbor. Um, he lost his partner a year ago, and he's really having some problems. And last but not least, happy, healthy 2017. Well, thank you, Jess. You too. Thanks. Tom? Thank you, Mr. McGovern. Um, Borough Minister Colin Conley and I met with representatives of the DEP um, to talk about planting uh, native species down by the beach along the boardwalk. We've been talking about this for a while now. It was a very helpful meeting. They uh, definitely gave us some ideas about what they were looking to do, what kind of species we might be looking to try to plant. Um, we have some three options. At this point now, we're basically we're, we're looking into cost. We're going to see how much it will be and what, that, what kind of options that leaves us as to how extensive. Uh, we're going to try a pilot just to see how it goes. And again, if, you know, if it works for us, then it would be something that other short towns would definitely be interested in, in trying, and that would definitely be, you know, a feather on Belmar's cap. Um, so we're looking for that to see what comes next. And again, I um, want to wish everybody a happy new year, and say again that it's been a pleasure and a privilege serving with Janice on the Borough Council. And that's it for me. Tom, what exactly are you thinking of down there, planting how extensive? What do you have in your mind? <sighs> well, the idea came up from the women's club to plant something along the boardwalk. Now, I'm interested in, we're going to have dunes start building up 
on the eastern side of the boardwalk, no matter what we do. That's a natural inclination, especially because we leave that snow fence there. Any kind of vegetation that grows will, will serve to force the sand to accumulate. And that's good. I mean, it's a good thing. It'll protect the boardwalk. It was a big protection during the storm. It helped a lot. I would just rather something a little prettier than weeds and goldenrod. You know, which is what's going to happen if we don't do something ourselves. So, uh, and shrubs that are, are flowering, something like something that has flowers on it, definitely something that's attractive. Really not much in the way of grasses. Grasses become unkempt and they're hard to take care of. They're eating, and once they go in, you really can't do much with them. Um, they had some really good recommendations. Uh, they gave us a very specific list. It's a short list, too. There's only about nine or ten different species that we would be looking at. And uh, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what they're called, but I know that they said this. Yeah, Bradley Beach does the Christmas trees. Where you think no, you really? think, no, nothing like that. No. You know, the Bradley Beach could do what they want. You know, as an environmentalist, I know that really what you should have is bigger dunes, but that's not, good. That's not what Belmar wants, and I'm with that. I'm fine with that. Uh, we want to be able to see the, wall, the water from the boardwalk. So what I'm really looking forward to is something that's really no higher than the boardwalk itself, something around the playgrounds, uh, because one of the problems we have is the sand gets, does encroach inside the playgrounds, even through the storm fence. If we have vegetation outside of those areas, that will that, accumulate the sand where the plants are and keep the sand from going in. It makes it a little easier for people to use the playground. Tom, you'll need something, um, <coughs> you'll need some space in there so that it can be kept clean. The problem mm -hmm. we had before, uh, right. when we had the adopt a spot, any place where there were plantings, it was very difficult to get in there. You have a lot of coffee cups, a lot mm -hmm. of, of yeah, caps. That was definitely one of the things we discussed. They, they, made, they, they, they said to make sure that you space them out, um, you leave room, if they start to get too, uh, too dense, you need to thin them. You definitely need to thin them. So they were, they were really good advice. I thought it was all very common sense if you know how to like point in the yard. It's the thing we have to do. Very good. Okay, uh, I just want to uh, <coughs> say how great the town looked uh, coming for Christmas. You know, Piano Plaza, terrific. Uh, I'd like to thank the uh, DPW for doing all that work. Uh, Museva looks great. Uh, I'd like to congratulate our staff and the DPW for the uh, making a Christmas special for the little kids with the uh, driving Santa Claus around, delivering presents. Uh, uh, Sal for playing Santa, and that wonderful elf of uh, Kevin, he uh, with the makeup on. I don't know. It looked too good to have been just a first-time thing. Uh, but uh, great for our uh, DPW, our staff here at Belmar, making uh, Christmas uh, great for the town of Belmar. Uh, now that we're moving into the new year, we're uh, getting closer to the uh, summer season. And we have been selling uh, beach badges already. And we have right now, before Christmas, sold 1,150 season beach badges and 450 senior beach badges. So uh, people uh, are using them for uh, Christmas presents, stocking stuffers, and uh, so hopefully the year 2017 will be successful there also for Barrow Belmar. That's all I have for my reports. Anybody else? Good, okay, moving right along. Public session on resolutions, only on the agenda. We will continue to have a public session at the end of this meeting. Is there, uh, right now, I'm Opening it up to the public. If you have anything to say on any of the resolutions, please come forward. State your name, address. Going once, going twice. Seeing none, I will make a motion to close the public portion for resolutions. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so for a resolution authorizing payment of bills, do I have a motion to pay our bills? The heating bill, especially. <laughs> Councilman Brennan. Yes. Councilman Governor. Yes. Councilman Neil Lyons. Yes. Okay. Uh, a resolution authorizing refunds. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Councilman Brennan. Yes. Councilman Governor. Yes. Councilman Neil Lyons. Yes. 
and the resolution awarding the contract for mid-grade ultra-low no-lead gasoline and ultra-low sulfur premium diesel. This is for the arena, right? Yes. I'll make a motion. And I'll second. Okay. Council yeah. Brennan? Yes. Council Yes. Yes. Now moving on to the consent agenda. All matters listed in the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the Borough of Council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items. If discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and will be considered separately. Do I have a motion for the consent agenda? I'll make the motion. Second. Councilman Brennan? Yes, Councilman McGovern? Yes. Councilman Yes. Public session. Last meeting of the year. Michael. Michael Campbell, DPW, being official. Uh, for Christmas trees. Uh, people can pick up, put out their Christmas trees as they take them down, and we are picking them up on a daily basis during regular working hours. We called Bradley Beach. They are not interested in taking our Christmas trees as they have in the past. Um, I don't believe they're doing it this year. I think they said they have enough or whatever. But either way, our Christmas trees will be staying here. Between us and Republic, we will be picking them up on a daily basis. We've already started. Mike, do we uh, uh, shred our trees or anything? Or do we give them to? They just go to the landfill. They all go in one certain, all the trees go in one certain area. I don't know if they crunch them or brush them or do what they do, but all the trees have to be kept separate. And they should be out by when? I mean, when we you end of January? Or? Colin doesn't put hers out until April, so we'll, 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 <laughs> whenever they get done, we'll. If we see him, we'll pick him up. Very good. Anybody else? Okay, then I'll make a motion to close the uh, meeting. One second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. New record, 12 minutes. Oh my God. No. Yeah. Yeah. I was going for 11. Thank you. If Mike had to do So close. If you hadn't talked. <coughs> yeah. It's true. Thanks. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.